Space travel has come a long way since Sputnik was launched into orbit in 1957. Since then, we've sent humans to the moon, set up the International Space Station, and even sent robot spacecrafts to explore other planets. But there's still lots more to discover and achieve in space. So what are our current plans? What technologies are we developing now? And what awaits humanity in the next 100 years? Let's find out, shall we? First of all, artificial intelligence. Fun fact, my high school history teacher claimed this is what I had, as per my test scores. <laughs> right now, humanity is actively engaged in the development of artificial intelligence. And we've already made a bunch of breakthroughs in this area. With the help of AI, we're going to be able to explore the cosmos like never before. Think about it. AI can automate and optimize tasks like mission planning and data analysis. Now, human astronauts can focus on more important things, like looking for some non-human astronauts. Plus, AI can control and operate spacecraft remotely, reducing the need for risky human missions. And that's not all. This super smart technology can also provide unique perspectives and insights that humans might have missed. AI could also help us understand the data collected by space probes. In short, the use of AI in space exploration will help us learn more about the cosmos and make exploration more efficient and cost-effective. And this isn't the only thing that will help us in conquering space. Next, reusable rockets. Gone are the days of one-time-use rockets. These days, reusable rockets are taking over the space industry. Not only do they save money, but they also make space travel more accessible to a wider range of people and organizations. To date, the SpaceX company has created a bunch of reusable rockets, like the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. They've completed many successful missions to the International Space Station and beyond. Blue Origin has also made great progress in reusable rocket technology with the new Shepard. It's even planning to take paying customers on trips to space soon. Alright, so these cool technologies will help us get up there. But what are we going to do next? Moving on to building settlements beyond Earth. Space colonization, here we come! The possibility of establishing colonies on other planets, such as Mars, is a dream that has captivated humans for decades. And now, it's finally within reach. But before we start packing our bags, here are a few obstacles we need to overcome. For starters, getting to Mars is no easy feat. It's a long journey that could take months, if not years. So first, we need to figure out how to keep humans alive and healthy during the trip. Now once we get there, we'll face even more challenges. The harsh radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations are just a couple examples. Living and working in space isn't easy either. We need to make sure that everyone has what they need to survive. It's not like you can just go to the store for supplies. So we'll have to build systems to provide food and water, create some advanced transportation, and maintain all of that in good condition somehow. Finally, let's not forget about the most important thing – money. Building and maintaining a settlement beyond Earth is no small feat, and it will take a lot of resources and cooperation to make it happen. But there are still great benefits in living in space. It opens up many opportunities for scientific research and exploration. We'll be able to learn more about the universe and our place in it. So, no dream too big. Even though it's a big challenge, it has the potential to be really rewarding for humanity. That's why private companies and space agencies are already working on plans to send humans to Mars and potentially even terraform the planet. Actually, let's talk about that. Terraforming. The dream of turning a barren, inhospitable planet into a habitable paradise. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi novel, right? Well, believe it or not, by using advanced technology and resources, we could potentially turn deserts like Mars into beautiful Earth-like worlds. But here we also have a few hurdles to jump through first. Terraforming isn't exactly a quick process. It would take lots of time and resources to make any significant changes to a planet. There are also some ethical dilemmas to think about. If we start trying to change the Martian ecosystem, we could potentially wipe out any existing life forms. Imagine if someone did that to us. Actually, we've been doing it to ourselves. And finally, there's the cost. 
Terraforming would be a major expense, and it's not clear who would foot the bill. It would likely require the cooperation of multiple countries and organizations. But even with all these challenges, this is still an exciting prospect. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll be able to turn Mars into the ultimate vacation spot. And that's just the beginning, because we won't stop at Mars. Our next goal is asteroids and other celestial bodies. Now picture this, you're floating in your spacesuit, mining an asteroid for some seriously valuable resources. You strike gold, or rather a shiny vein of platinum, and head back to Earth to sell it for a fortune. And with the money, you fund even more space mining expeditions, becoming the ultimate space tycoon. But seriously, space mining could be a game-changer for space exploration and the economy. Imagine being able to extract water from asteroids to sustain human settlements on other planets, or mining rare minerals to use in high-tech industries back on Earth. The economic benefits could be massive. Of course, there are also challenges to overcome. We'll need to figure out how to safely and sustainably extract resources from asteroids. We also need to make sure that space mining is done in an ethical and fair way. But once we deal with all this, it'll change our lives forever. So let's get to work. But once we've mined everything, what awaits us next? For example, what lies beyond our solar system? Interstellar travel and the search for life. We've already made some amazing discoveries in our hunt for extraterrestrial life. For example, NASA's Viking landers and the Galileo spacecraft have given us some clues about it. Also, in 2022, we found traces of organic matter in the former Martian lakes. We're not sure yet, but perhaps Mars was once as prosperous as Earth. But we all know that the real excitement lies beyond our solar system. Scientists have already found thousands of other distant exoplanets and some of them are in their star's habitable zone, meaning they could potentially support life. So our next step is to send probes or even humans there. Imagine being the first person to set foot on another planet, discovering microbial life or maybe even a more advanced civilization. Talk about out of this world. And maybe one day, traveling to another star system will be like a regular road trip. Except instead of a minivan, you're in a spaceship. And instead of stopping at a rest stop, you're stopping at a new planet. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? Right now, there are a few ideas about how we might make interstellar travel a reality. One possibility is the use of wormholes. These hypothetical tunnels in space-time could potentially allow us to travel vast distances in a shorter amount of time. It's like taking a shortcut. Except instead of cutting through someone's backyard, you're cutting through the fabric of the universe. Pretty crazy, huh? Another option is antimatter propulsion. This involves using antimatter, which is the opposite charge of our regular matter, as fuel for a spacecraft. When it comes into contact with regular matter, it releases a huge amount of energy. Imagine your car's gas tank being filled with antimatter instead of gasoline. That's going to be a powerful ride for sure. Of course, there are still lots of challenges to overcome before we can make interstellar travel a reality. But let's hope that one day, we'll all be able to pack our bags and hop on a spaceship for a trip to the stars. Anyway, the future of space travel is looking bright. With all of these advancements in technology, we're excited to see what feats of exploration the future holds. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.